Kanye West, ladies and gentlemen. He's been a very, very bad boy. He mentioned, to quote, I think it was Voltaire, ask who you, ask who you cannot criticise to find out who rules over you. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, Kanye West just found out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about Kanye West getting into trouble with, well, the Jewish community. Let's be honest, he's been upsetting them. He's decided to call them out. You know, he's uh, named named this, uh, this this issue. I mean, as we've all noticed, ladies and gentlemen, it's all very fine to, to criticise, say, the Muslim community and say, oh, look, there's a problem in the Muslim community. There's Muslim terrorism. There's extremism. There's uh, there's terrorist acts. You know, we you know you can get online and talk for hours about that. No one really gets that upset. Ben Shapiro will love you. Jordan Peterson will love you. But you cannot say about a certain other community that there might be a little problem there involved in some kind of mischief. No, I mean, not saying there necessarily is, but uh, Kanye West seems to think there is. And uh, let's just go through some of his talking points. Uh, uh, I put my glasses on here. One of the things I think that's of interest is that uh, there's a, a famous black um, a preacher and intellectual in uh, the United States called Farrakhan. He was connected to Public Enemy. He's always been, uh, how shall we put it, not entirely friendly to the Jewish community. He's pointed out, for example, that many of the uh, slums in America uh, have been owned um, by Jewish people uh, and that, that they are mainly the slum lords in America. So in other words, the people who own the land and are profiteering off um, kind of black poverty uh, are the people who own the slums. So he's often brought that up and so has Kanye recently. That's rather interesting, isn't it? And also the slave ships, ladies and gentlemen. This is another interesting question. Kanye's brought this up and, um, you know, he, he brought up the fact that, and also Candace Owens has even raised it, who own the slave ships? Who own the slave markets? Again, there it's been not obviously not every single ship, but there's been a large um, Jewish ownership of this, and obviously this is something that's gone over with the uh, uh, ADL and the Jewish community in America uh, like a Led Zeppelin, ladies and gentlemen. It hasn't gone over well. And uh, another thing that um, Kenya has, has pointed out is that many celebrities have kind of handlers, um, you know, and including himself. Um, he shared some tweets that were from a a kind of somebody who was very close to him who was like a personal trainer who maybe had him committed before. He was somebody who'd obviously wormed his way very close to Kanye West, maybe kept him fit, kept him, you know, you know, he was his personal trainer, someone like that you see every day because, you know, they, they get it, you've got to work out, etc. So this person um, uh, basically kind of threatened him, said, look, we'll sit down, we can have a proper discussion or basically I'm going to get you committed again and you'll be so zombified, you'll, you know, you know ha catching up with your kids will never be the same again and then he went on not only did he talk about how this related to himself because this was a Jewish guy who did this he talked about how this is a common thing and he spoke about various celebrities how um, you know how many of them had lost a family member he even talked about how his mother had died which I think he declared could be a conspiracy and he talked about various other um, family members who've died within celebrities like Shaq and various other people he said that the way they operate is that they, you, that they monetize the celebrity and then they traumatize the celebrity to control them. So the trauma is through drugs, it's through, you know, um, maybe killing a family member uh, and eventually traumatizing the star themselves. So I, I thought that was um, a very, very interesting observation from Kanye West. Uh, obviously, um, you know, he's pointed out that, um, you know, uh, in Hollywood um, and in the music industry, basically most of the people who run it are Jewish, um, you know, which is of course hard to deny. <laughs> I mean, even um, you know Dave Chappelle went on Saturday Night Live and said uh, basically the same thing, and then it even got Jerry Seinfeld. You know, I mean, not even the ADL. I mean, the ADL had to pull out the big guns, ladies and gentlemen. They got out Jerry Seinfeld. He said, "Look, we've got to talk about this. You know, it's becoming problematic because see, this is the thing." You know, obviously this has been, with Black Lives Matter, there's been this whole hatred towards white people, but with kind of Kanye's kind of interference, maybe it's a certain group of white people that he's pointing out are responsible for a lot of the suffering of African-American people, which of course also ties into what someone like Farrakhan has been saying for 50 years, um, who's a big influence on Public Enemy and stuff, and many other um, uh, black intellectuals like P uh, Pre Professor Griff from uh, Public Enemy. He also got into a lot of trouble for saying things very similar to Kanye. So, you know, it's very interesting. He sort of stepped on a landmine. Um, obviously, uh, he lost, um, you know, many of his 
kind of media um, kind of connections, many of his deals. Of course, that, that certainly proves that um, the Jewish people have nothing to do with any of this. The fact that they could cancel it practically within a couple of weeks. So, I mean, it's very interesting, this whole situation with Kanye. He got banned from Twitter, but, you know, he got let back on by Elon Musk. So, you know, the culture wars continue, ladies and gentlemen, but Kanye has been uh, about as red-pilled as you can get, I'd say, and um, he's just, you know, gone the whole hog. And good luck to him, because I think, you know, uh, you know, to confront a problem, you've got to be able to talk about it. You know what I mean? And uh, this whole situation where you can't not criticise the people who really rule over you, I think is terrible. Um, and, you, you know, the first thing you should be able to do is criticise, because how can you ever hope to have improvement if you can't criticise? So I think, you know, hats off to Kanye, and, um, you know, let's see what you know, happens from here.